Alright, so nagbabalik tayo sa ating violin tips and tricks. And for today's video, I want to talk about practice and developing a good practice schedule. Okay. What do I mean by a practice schedule? So, in our daily routines, di ba? We eat at certain points in time. We do certain things in certain areas of our lives during these times. For example, I work out at 7 or 6 in the morning, di ba? Before I eat breakfast, yung mga ganun. So, scheduling your practice in your routine is very, very vital to get the most out of your practices, di ba? Why? Kasi, we have spikes of energy and dips of energy throughout the day, no? Hindi pwedeng kung kailan mo lang maisipan, doon ka magpa-practice. Why? You're not developing any routine and nahihirapan ka mag-process. Sometimes, barang ah, gusto ko mag-practice, so ko yung violin mo. Tapos, kinabukasan, hindi ka na makakapag-practice. And then, the other, the next day, magpa-practice ka na naman. Pero kasi naisipan mo lang, di ba? Hindi ka nakaka-develop. You're not uh, developing discipline, una-una. Walang discipline. And of course, you're not getting in to the routine of practicing. Kasi you really need to work on these things, no? Especially for music or any instrument for that matter. Hindi tayo sanay eh. Especially if you're a beginner. You're not used to certain movements and certain things that are happening to your body while you're playing with your instrument. So, kailangan masanay siya. It should be as routinary as eating or as drinking water. Ganun daw dapat yung pag-schedule mo ng practice. And ano ba ba yung importance kapag nag-schedule ka ng practice is your body tends to adapt to that. Yan. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga examples on how you can effectively schedule your practices. Okay. So, it will really depend on what your activities are throughout the day for you to be able to set up a nice practice schedule. No? You can do it like I do it at the morning, in the morning, no? or in the afternoon, depending on kung may pinaghahandaan ako. I actually do my practices in times na kunwari. I have an audition coming up. And my time for audition is 11 a.m. So, I try to practice at 11 a.m. So, if I'm preparing for something, try to practice at the same time when your performance or whatever it is, no? Whether it's a recital, an audition, will take place. Bakit? Para alam nung body mo and you on your own, alam mo how you feel during that time of the day. Ano yung kulang sa'yo kung nauuhaw ka ba during this time so you have to prepare your body diba kasi kasama yun physical preparation aside from preparing your repertoire for your music diba you have to prepare your body as well and kasama na rin doon yung pagprepare mo ng mind mo so you have to schedule on the times that you are going to present or perform diba yan isa it's one way no another way kung wala ka naman pinaghahandaan is to scatter your practices throughout the day. So, by doing that, parang nalilis yung pagkainip mo. So, you're actually maximizing your attention span, no? the amount of focus that you have. Kasi, we're not really going to be 100% for for like 3-4 hours na nakatutok tayo sa isang ginagawa natin. No? Marami tayong hiniisip. We're humans. We don't live in a vacuum. We don't live in a space na ito lang yung gagawin mo, wala ka ng ibang gagawin. So, if you scatter that practice schedule throughout the day, okay, meron kang time na, oh, ganadong-ganado ka, diba? Gusto inspired na inspired ka ma-practice, oh, practice ka for like one hour. And then rest, do other things, and then balikan mo, practice ka ulit another one hour. No? Ayan. And so on. So, ganun. Pwede ka rin mag ng practice tawag nila doon. Is, you're scattering the schedule, no? So, kailangan, pag ganun nga lang, wala ka masyadong ginagawa, no? You can do that on a uh, holiday, kung mara, wala ka masyadong work, or hindi ka masyadong busy sa iba pang mga bagay, nasa bahay ka lang, yun, magandang gawin yun. Para hindi rin, hindi rin natatanggal yung drive mo. Parang, lagi kang ready 
on those times na in schedule mo. And of course, importante talaga you have to stick to that schedule. Whether you're scattering your practices, you're, you're practicing on a certain point in time, no? And pwede rin naman na you just put a chunk of your day to practicing. Whether if you're a morning person, which means that your body is more awake sa umaga, no? Mas productive ka sa umaga, so schedule your practices in the morning. Or let's say, wag naman yung sobrang aga kasi syempre. We're not living in magagandang lahat, hindi tayo, lahat tayo, wala tayo, lahat na studio na tahimik, ganyan, di ba? So, you have to also take that into consideration. Siguro 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock a.m., you can start practicing until 11 or something like that, di ba? So, maganda yun, may mag-practice ka sa umaga if you're a morning person. Now, if you're a night person, no, kung talagang gising ka sa gabi, so, try to schedule practices during the time. Basta find the time that you are most productive in terms of your music, no? Siyempre, kung hindi naman ka productive during the, the nights or the days, the mornings, hindi mo rin siya may enjoy So, you have to set those schedules and then stick to it. Maganda makapag-stick ka dun for like one to two weeks. So, check kung mo kung okay ba sa'yo. Marami ka bang mas na-accomplish sa umaga? Mas marami ka bang na-accomplish sa gabi? Or if scattered yung practices mo, mas maganda ba para sa'yo? So, you have to think like that, no? You have to try it out kasi hindi mo pa din naman alam kung how will your body will react to it, no? So, you can also do those things, no? Para maging maayos yung schedule mo. And it really needs a lot of discipline, no? Disiplina talaga yung kailangan when you're trying to practice in a scheduled time. No? Kasi, well, for me, no, time doesn't mean anything as l- if you're not really putting in the work during that time. So, mas mahalaga pa rin yung quality ng practice. So, I only track the time that I start. no. This is what I do. I only track the time that I start, but I don't really track the time that I end. As long as I'm sticking to the goals that I need to accomplish in my practice. For example, if may, may pinutugtog ako, tinutugtog pa siya under tempo. So, ang goal ko today is matugtog siya in 10 beats higher than what I'm doing yesterday. So, if I reach that goal ng mas maaga, then good. I would decide for myself if I would reach another goal. For example, in business tense, this since nagawa ko siya ng 10, gagawin ko na siya 20, or do I stop there? No? Kasi, Gusto ko i-master ko siya dun sa tempo na yun. So, marami ka pang pwedeng iba-ibahin, no? But, not really focusing on, okay, I'll practice one hour today, and then I'll practice two hours tomorrow without a plan, no? So, scheduling your time, yung, yung starting time lang. And then, work with the goals. Because as artists, we still have momentum, yung flow, ng utak natin, di ba? Kailangan pa rin natin siya i-take into considerations. And by restricting yourself in a box na kailangan one hour, well, in 30 minutes, you can already do it and do other things na magbe-benefit din sa pagtugtog mo. Di ba? So, pwedeng ganun eh. Pero yun nga lang, kailangan talaga discipline. And discipline starts by doing it on time and really sticking to it. No? Hindi pwedeng gagawin mo lang siya ah, uh, uh, Three days in a week. Tapos do sa iba kung kailan mo lang matripan, no? Kasi, I know we are temperamental as an artist, di ba? As a whole. Pero, we also need to be disciplined enough for us to work efficiently. Mas magiging efficient tayo sa ganun, no? By sticking to a practice schedule. Yeah. And yun nga, sabi ko nga dun sa kanina, pati yung body kasi natin nag adjust and if we find the perfect spot in our daily lives where we are the most productive, most focused during that time, then you hit the jackpot. No? Talagang magiging mabilis yung progress mo. Diba? Kaya yung lessons mo, for example, yun, pwede mo ring gamitin. If you have lessons at 4 o'clock, 4 p.m., diba? Sabi na natin ganun. O practice at 4 p.m. Para pagdating mo nun, hindi ka kinakabahan kasi hindi ka sanay dun sa oras, di ba? May mga ganun. No? Aside from those things, 
as well, aside from scheduling lang, just to make your practice efficient, you should practice in a place na wala masyadong nagbabago. What do I mean by that? The temperature of your room should always be almost the same every time. No, kung malamig yung pinagpapraktisan mo, dapat doon ka lang lagi mo na mag-practice para masanay ka. Kasi baka mamaya yung pag-audition mo or yung, yung hall na pagtutugtugan mo, ganun din. So, you can also add those things in. But it's really, really important that you keep track of the starting time. Yeah. And by scheduling and sticking to that, yung discipline na na-develop will not just translate dun sa pagpapractice mo but in the efficiency on how you see your progress. So you can track your progress much, much better. Yeah. Sana nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. And if it did, please do drop a like. Comment down below on more tips and tricks that you want us to discuss. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Yeah. Thank you for watching again. And you can check out my course on Udemy. And everything you need are down in the description box below and I'll see you on the next one.